Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Knuckle Busters by Diesel Doctor. So today, we are going to figure out how to install a DEF awning in the SCR Catalyst. Oftentimes, the truck will come in with Knox conversion efficiency low code, and the issue is the DEF is being built after a lot of diag. A lot of times you'll find out that DEF is being built up in the SCR Catalyst, and the only way to fix that is by installing a special shield in there. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to install the shield, we're gonna figure out how it's done. It takes a little bit of drilling, a little bit of knowledge. Come to me if you want it done. So, what we did here, we took off the fender by taking out these bolts. And here is the after treatment one box. So we're gonna take off this shield. We're gonna take off the step move the sensor and we'll go from there and that's where it's gonna go right there once that dozer comes out we're gonna drill it into there all right let's get back to it And it was rusted and it broke. So I cut it, stripped it out. Right now we're looking at the DPF. That's got to come out. Take out this clamp. Take out this clamp. Take out that nut. Take out these two nuts. And we can pry it out. Pull that DPF out. Hopefully, it doesn't want to fight it. But just in case it does. Right here, make sure you clean that up good and the surface on the other side. So looking inside where the DPF would go. That's what it looks like, can't see too much. But we're gonna get the shield and install it inside here. So this is what the DEO pawning looks like. Just a shield. It disrupts the exhaust flow to the DEF being shot in. That's all that does. This is the part number. Here's some of the part numbers of other things you're gonna need, which are uh, spring clamps, not spring clamps, uh, nut certs and bolts. And here's the template. What we're gonna do is we're gonna match these bolt holes to right there, see if they don't match. So we're just gonna draw them in, make sure they do match. See, now we got their little uh, dots drawn, and we're good to go. Okay, so right now we are taking off the DPS closer. That is quarter inch drive. And this guy is a quarter inch sock.
Oh, she is out. Take off the gasket, make sure to clean up the nozzle. Alright, we'll rest yourself. We'll back at it. We'll make our starter. Starter moves. There's one. We'll get the other. This one's got a knocka 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 in the engine. Okay. Yes, it did. I heard that stuff. Hey, just so you know, if I don't find anything broken, I'm the customer pay. Why? Uh, at that point, it's going to be an adjustment. Warranty, mm -hmm. man. Just to give you a heads up. Warranty, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. I got to give you that warning. Two hundred twenty thousand, man. But no, you know, no overhead. Fine, overhead. That's a warranty. Yes, you go in there and break something. What Travis says, yeah. Well, you open the valve cover. I'll take a sledgehammer. Bam. <laughs> well, it looks like everything's damaged, huh? Yeah. Shoot. So you guys see what we're working with? And on the inside, we're gonna mount this shield. Alright, in those two holes. Okay, she's all bolted up. Okay, we're gonna bump this guy back up. Got a new gasket on it after cleaning it up. New bolts every time because they will break.
like those gloves. Look at that, rigged for days. See how I put it. Get this bad boy off. She's on, but not secured, still a little loose. So there is a trick to lining this up. I just get a mirror right here, and I look between the openings on this side, and I just see if it's flush. Then I can smack this down or push it over, put it to wherever I need, and sink that sucker down. She's bolted up nice and secure. And of course, we got new bolts. Every time, otherwise, they're going to bolted up I got my step back on the shield on I got a brand new sensor with of course a special compound on there to make sure that the threads don't seize on the next time coming out it's all wired up tied down next thing to do is run a regen and make sure everything's good <laughs> 